Okay, this is an NV3500 transmission out of a 96 uh, Chevy S10. And we're trying to get this slave, uh, this slave cylinder line off. And we tried like a thousand methods to uh, disconnect this thing and couldn't do it. Uh, and there's no information online, so what we just did was disconnect it right here at the end. Uh, and all it takes is taking this little pin off by putting a nail through it. Uh, he's got it in his hand right here, let me see. Yeah, it looks like this. Just put a nail in it, um, hammer, the, hammer the, the nail against it, and we'll make it come out. And then after this pin that's in this hole comes out, then the whole line that is right here comes out. And that's much easier than trying to use a disconnect tool, which is not uh, available, or I don't even know what it looks like because I've looked it up and it doesn't doesn't look like you would be using something like this to remove a supposedly quick disconnect uh, fitting like this. Anyway, so we're uh, overholding the 3500. And this was our first problem, and we'll we'll move on. So, oh yeah, I see one of the six bolts right here that we're gonna need to take out um, in order to. Yeah, that's one of six in order to take out the whole front, the front part of the transmission, which is this part uh, with the two holes, the, the the two gaping holes right there. This is the part that we're taking off, and then the back is what we're gonna be left with with. All the gears coming out, I think. Okay. So I'm gonna show you the things uh, that I removed. The, what was the other one? That was the first one. That was the first one. It's just a pin that uh, keeps uh, both parts of the transmission, both cases, uh, stuck together, and they go into little holes like this. Um, and what you gotta use is basically a hammer and um, this little thing, I don't know what it's called, but like a, a tool like this, like a push pin thing. Uh, and we used a very small hammer, so it took us a while. Uh, but with a big hammer, it would just, you know, be easy. But take it easy so you don't break anything. So just this, this. Um, we already have one that's out. And the second one is about to come out. And you can see it. Um, yeah, all the way down there, in in the inside the inside the case, it's wanting to come out. So there's like maybe a quarter of an inch left to go. But it can still come off when you <coughs> Yeah. Off. So now we're gonna separate the, the the transmission cases together, and keep in mind that we um, we took all these little bolts off that are inside the bell housing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we took the slave cylinder off, um, and it, that that just comes off. It, there's one and two bolts that attach the slave cylinder to the transmission. Take those off. Disconnect the uh, hydraulic clutch uh, line, slave cylinder line, and then on the transmission itself, what we did is uh, we took all these bolts off. There's like maybe ten, ten of them around. The transmission and we also we also did uh, um, these ones right here I don't know if you can see there's one here and another one next to it and then a third one on this on the on the opposite side and this is the rear parts of the transmission the rear case my bed the welder the slide hammer You'll see why I need one. The transmission table. And to be able to remove that pin that you see under the under that nut, I had to because it was so hard with screwdrivers and stuff I couldn't do it. I had to weld this nut onto the pin. So I went from the inside. And see, I left five or six threads, so I could thread in this uh, this shaft, this threaded shaft right here. That belongs to the sliding hammer, and I'm gonna be able to take it off, hopefully. All right. 
and like everything that you put a lot of thinking into it worked so that was the top part of it that was the bottom this plug it's actually a plug is what wouldn't come out and uh, it came out of this hole and it looks like there's a spring right here so now we're gonna see if that yeah that it's a spring definitely we're gonna see if that was enough to be able to take the the front case off and uh, we'll see about the we'll see about the next step I I think I'm pretty sure it's gonna be to uh, remove the gears and everything and all that all the gear assemblies and stuff let's hope that we don't mess it up <laughs> Oh, hey, I found it. Look, there's a cover here. Oh my god. I didn't know about that. <laughs> right behind the slate cylinder. Is there anything in here? No, no bearings, no nothing. It's good. It's safe. Shit, now it should come up. There's a big seal, remember. Big seal around here. Big seal. Otherwise, the transmission will leak. Okay, so we're stuck again. Um, we're stuck again right here, and apparently there's a ring. Uh, I don't know if you can see it well. Yeah. Right here is the opening of the ring. So it's that black area between both shiny uh, areas of metal. So it runs all around this uh, bearing. I think it's a bearing. The input shaft bearing or something. And right here is where it needs to be uh, pulled apart and uh, we need to go get uh, large uh, ring pliers or something so we're going to we're going to a auto parts store right now to get that tool we'll be right back this is so hard to do <laughs> hardest job ever okay so yeah um we just found another bitch ring that we didn't see before. It's this one right here. Um, I'm gonna try to zoom in. And we broke the pliers, the the snap ring pliers, on the other ring, the outer, the second one, you know. And this second one wouldn't come out because this first one needed to be uh, addressed before. Uh, so we got to get some uh, other pliers and finish the job and see if we can uh, split the case. Okay, so this is an update. We took the ring, uh, the, the snap ring that was right there. Uh, the, the, the first one that I was talking about. And the second one, it doesn't come out. I don't think it does. Um, I don't know where the opening is. Uh, yeah, there's, oh yeah, it's down there. It's, it's like open right here and we tried um, ring pliers and broke them because apparently that thing doesn't uh, it doesn't come out uh, but now we're we're done we took this little ring off it was right there and uh, the transmission comes apart so I'm gonna show you um, it's basically it's basically apart now both uh, cases they're um, they're apart so we're gonna look really carefully how it is set up right now so that we can uh, put it back together without a problem in the future so I'm gonna stop the video here and this is gonna be part one and part two is gonna be about you know just uh, separating those cases uh, looking at the gears looking at the synchros the synchro rings and the bearings and all this that I've never messed with before and we're gonna look at that order the right parts uh, i.e. bearings and stuff like that because the transmission is uh, it makes a whiny noise it's just whining at any any RPM uh, so uh, 
we're gonna try to keep it from warning by I, I'm thinking it's bearings because uh, when you look at those rings and you look at what's been said online uh, apparently those rings are in very good shape like those um, synchro rings uh, if anybody out there knows anything about transmissions and rebuilding transmissions standards you can give me some advice because I don't really have any idea but to me that's this look this is looking pretty pretty good uh, so I'm just thinking yeah change a couple bearings maybe check clearances because um, I think that clearances are very important and they might be the the reason why uh, it's whining so uh, you, you must be wondering why are you rebuilding a transmission that's only whining well that's what my friend really wanted to do and uh, he's getting a really nice little project going on so he wants everything to be perfect uh, and that's how I like to do things also so that's what we're gonna do and um, so I'm gonna stop the video here and uh, we'll start we'll start again when I pull the gears out